I have a look on the total for tonight's WNBA Finals Game 1 matchup between the Minnesota Lynx and the New York Liberty. I'll break it down here in just a bit. I'm Ronald Cabang from wagertalk.com and themoneyballer.com. I'm the number one overall handicapper at WagerTalk since September 1st. My all-access clients are up 55.92 units on a 82-46-4 and four record. That's a 64.1% hit rate, um, meaning $100 bettors are up nearly $5,600 between Premier League, MLB, WNBA, NFL, and college football since September 1st. Also, number one in WNBA handicapper this season, last season, and all-time at WagerTalk. And I've only been with uh, Wager Talk for four years now. Uh, currently on a 41 and 22 run, and that includes seven and one on four percent plays in the WNBA. Also coming off a 5 0 sun, five and zero Sunday and Monday in the NFL. Uh, also 100 percent on football totals so far this season. That includes both college football and NFL. I say those things because I actually have a package available right now with a four percent play on the WNBA playoffs tonight on the side. Also, a uh, NFL Thursday night football play on the total. So that's why I brought up those uh, specific records. But check my capper page at wt.buzz backslash rc for premium picks and packages, as well as several plays, um, several free plays that I already have up uh, as well. Um, also, at Wager Talk, a one day all access pass is $39, a seven day all access pass is $99, and a 30 day all access pass is $299, which is less than $10 per day. But WagerTalk does have a new offer up and available right now, 60 days for a reduced price of just $398, which is $6.63 per day. So make sure you head over to wagertalk.com and take advantage of that deal, whether it's with me or any other handicapper over at WagerTalk. Now let's dive into this matchup between the Lynx and the Liberty. First, um, both teams here are definitely known for their defense, uh, but... Don't let that fool you because they are very highly efficient on the offensive side of the ball as well. If you focus on the links here, just take out the game without Nafisa Coyer. Uh, earlier this year, the Lynx scored 84, 94, and 88 points against the Liberty defense this season. That includes the Commissioner's Cup game as well. Um, that's three games going well above their expected team total, uh, showing their ability to find scoring opportunities even against one of the best defenses in the league. And they just did it against the Connecticut Sun too. This, the Sun are definitely one of the top defenses in the league. Uh, what makes the, the Lynx that much better on the offensive side of the ball? It's their depth. They can go eight deep um, and they can pick their matchups. And New York's defense... They, they can't just focus on one or two players uh, because Minnesota just has too many scoring threats from, you know, the guard and the forward position. Uh, Liberty, uh, typically, they try to lock in on their top players, you know, of the opposite team, but they can't just lock in on Coyer alone because of the depth that the Lynx have. And we're also talking about a team that can spread the floor, attack inside, shoot from the range, uh, shoot from mid-range with uh, Courtney Williams. Um, and on the, the Liberty side, uh, they're coming into this game with fresh legs and, and should be highly motivated to avenge that loss in the Commissioner's Cup. So their offense, you know, obviously, John Cole Jones, uh, Sabrina, Stewie, uh, they, those are the three that will they'll have to lean on offensively in this matchup. If we consider, you know, potential game flow, uh, to me, early in playoff series, we often see both teams try to feel each other out, especially in game one. That means the defenses might take a little bit longer to settle in which leads to solid offense on both sides of the ball. I'm expecting both offenses to thrive early before the defenses make adjustments at half. Uh, and so, I mean, to me, that naturally pushes the flow towards a higher scoring game in the opener here tonight. And, you know, this is where it gets pretty interesting. You know, me, I, I love trends. And in game one of a series, when road teams come off a game that went over and the home team is coming off a game that went under, those matchups in the playoffs are 13-4-1 to the over since the 2014 uh, WNBA playoffs. If you add that the road team is coming off a home game, that trend moves to 7-0-1 to the over. Uh, that's a rock-solid trend right there that supports the over in tonight's matchup. So when you put that all together, right, the, the offensive efficiency for both teams, the, the expected game flow, the trend uh, backing it, I think that 159 total. I think that seems a, a bit too low for this matchup, specifically in game one. I expect both teams to score efficiently, especially in that first half. 
uh, before adjustments are made. Uh, another trend from the moneyballer.com, uh, the Lynx are 10 and two this year, including the playoffs and regular season to the first half over as road dogs. So that's just another trend that backs that, that over, uh, whether it's the full game or the first half. Uh, my pick here, I would say take the over 159 and I'm comfortable with it. Even if it ticks up slightly to like 160 or uh, 160 and a half, uh, I would, I would, I wouldn't um, be able to talk anyone off the first half over either. So whether it's the full game or the first half, take your pick. I think the over is the way to go. What are your thoughts on this game? Do you agree? Disagree? Uh, make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Also make sure you click the notification button as well. So you don't miss another breakdown from any of the, of the handicappers over at wager talk. Uh, once again, head over to wt.buzz backslash RC. That link was scrolling on the bottom there through the whole video. Uh, for free and premium picks and packages and take advantage of uh, all the incredible deals over at wagertalk.com including that 60 day, 60 day all access pass that i mentioned earlier that equates to less than seven dollars a day for every pick from your favorite handicapper um, and for all your personal betting needs head over to the moneyballer.com they have all the stats trends insights you need to make informed betting decisions uh, you can use promo code rc50 that's also scrolling on the bottom uh, through the whole video down there um, to receive 50% off your first billing cycle over at themoneyballer.com. That is my main source for handicapping uh, the games, and it should be yours too, especially in the NBA. Um, we have models, uh, rating systems, trends, um, stats, all matchup-based. Um, so that's over at themoneyballer.com. This is the end of the video. Whether you fade or follow, it's on you to make that call. Good luck with all your action. Till next time, peace.